Today's topic is brokenness, um, self-love, and choice. Really serious sounding, I know. Um, so I was talking to a friend, and um, one of her daughters says something so profound, and she's very young, and she said that I cannot love because I do not love myself, and therefore I cannot love. And she's so young, she's like my son's age. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is, she's one of the oldest souls I know. Like this is something typically someone would say in like their mid thirties or late thirties, like, you know, like this is really deep, serious stuff. And, and so she said this and I was just thinking, oh my gosh, like, it's such a profound topic and it's so true. And so, you know, some people, they start living into a journey of life, like <laughs> in their thirties. Well, she's starting at the tender age of six and she is going to have a powerful, powerful life. It's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be so magnificent. And she is starting so early. But here's the question, when I, so I was, listen, I was reading this book. So I'm, I'm reading three books at the same time right now. One book is called Mirror Work by Louise Hay. One book is called Overcoming Under Earning. Another book is called Everything at Once by Bill and I. And there's a third, fourth book actually that I'm listening to called Your Money or Your Life by Vicki Robin. And everything is so synchronistic and everything is so perfect. So Mirror Work, I'm on day three. And Louise says to tell yourself that um, whatever you say, whatever I say to myself, I say with love. Whatever I say to myself in this mirror, I say with love. And I was thinking, gosh, like first you say things like, I'm getting to know you, I'm getting to love you, I'm getting to like you. And then you say a hundred times a day, I love you, Tuan, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then now she's saying, whatever I say to myself, I say with love. And, and so what the six-year-old was saying, she was saying that I do not love myself. I do not feel love. And therefore I am, I cannot love. And, she, and it couldn't be more profound. Like what she said was so simple and so true. If you do not love yourself, if you do not respect yourself, if you don't are intimate with yourself, then of course, of course, you're going to have trouble loving other people. And I thought about this a lot. And I was thinking, Tuan, could you love yourself the way that you love your kids? My son is six and my daughter is two. And when I look at them, I just love them so much. They're just these amazing souls and they are incredible people. And they just, they just astound me with who they are. I love them simply because of the fact that they exist. And they're just these wonderful souls that are part of my life. And I get to be a life coach for them. Like it's such a rewarding privilege to be part of their life. And, um, and I thought, gosh, Tuan, if you could love yourself the way that you love your kids, like what would that look like? When you make a mistake, do you judge yourself or do you pep talk to yourself like you would to your kids like you would say oh my gosh you're doing so good Tuan keep up the good work and all this stuff and in case you're like Tuan looks really weird and kind of sunburned like I I am I'm windburned actually I just went skiing and so my face is all brown my lips are all chapped in case you're wondering if I got some Botox or something so you wanted to get that out of the way but like if if we could love ourselves the way that we love our kids and truly accept ourselves, then we would start seeing other areas in our life where we start to transform. And when we start loving ourselves, we start accepting ourselves, we stop judging ourselves, or realizing judging is just part of being human and we don't pay any heed to it, any attention to it, then we start really noticing the beauty that surrounds us. And we start really noticing the wonderful souls about us. Like I start seeing how handsome and young my husband is. I start appreciating all the people in my life. I start appreciating 
my sister and her relationship with her boyfriend and the journey that she's on and everything is so perfect and so divine and there's so much room for expansion and growth and so much to be experienced. And I was talking to my friend as she was sharing me about her daughter and I realized that when I said happiness is a choice, life fulfillment is a choice, you get to be here and you get to choose the kind of life that you desire to live. You get to create the experience that you'd like to create for yourself. You also get to choose if you're going to love yourself. You get to choose whether you will love yourself and that, therefore that will help you love others more freely, more comfortably, more without inhibition. And um, I, I just couldn't get over how profound that was coming from a six-year-old. So um, think about it. Can you look at yourself in the mirror and can you say, I love you. Everything I say to you, I say with love. Like, could you say that in the mirror and really mean it and hear it and feel it and see what there is to feel, see what there is stuff, hear what chatter goes through your head and really think and process it and see like, is this awkward? Is this something that you will keep practicing to master? Is this constantly something that you will ever expand upon because it's so odd and weird? I don't know, but I'm practicing it. I'm on day, day three. <coughs> so there you have it. Would you like to try out the homework? You wanna try out this book, it's called Mirror Work by Louise Hay. If you like to overcome under earning, this book is by Barbara Stanny. She's the daughter of uh, R Block, of H&R Block. And then the other book I'm listening to is um, your Money or Your Life by Vicki Robin. Vicki with an I, V-I-C-K-I, Robin, like the blue bird, like the red bird, Robin, red Robin. So, so much to be had, so much to experience, so much to be shared, so much to learn, right? Ever an experience of growth and expansion and so much. But yeah, I just, I've been sitting with it. I've been thinking about, gosh, like a six-year-old enlightens us and she says if if I don't love myself if I don't feel love myself I don't love other people therefore I cannot love and it's so true because if we're all connected we're all part of the multiverse we're all a son and daughter of God we're all one big family if we don't love ourselves then we're kind of like not loving a part of God right if you love fully, you love completely, then you would embrace every soul, every person, and you would see what there is to see. You'd see the beauty in the tapestry. You'd see the desire for love. You would see the manifestation of love. You would see the asking for love, the call for love, the yell for love, the beg for love. <coughs> you would see it all, and you would really get it, and you would be with it, and you would sit with it. So, today's video is a little bit more quiet. Um, I just had a lot on my mind. Um, what else? Gosh. Um, I was, so, I was listening to this other book called um, Your Money or Your Life, and I am so looking forward to a, do a course on money because the stuff that is shared in this book is, like, jaw-droppingly good. And I realize so many of us have our minds so warped around the energy of money. And every day I would manifest that I'm a master of the energy of money and the multiverse, the Heavenly Father sends me all these resources to become a master of the energy of money so that I can master myself and, of course, share it and teach it to others. Of course, of course, right? And one of the questions she asked is, if you had one full year of income, meaning you didn't have to work, what would you be doing? And I think many of us are like, I don't know, I've always been doing my job. I was always doing the thing I'm doing. If I didn't have to, then what would I be doing? Like we never even explore that. But my life coach always says, if you can say no to something and say yes to something, that is when you can truly powerfully choose and create how that experience goes for you. And um, and so if you if your job was 
accounted for and you had all the income from the job and you weren't using your life energy to earn money through that job, what would you really be doing? <laughs> and I realized I'd probably be doing life coaching and I probably wouldn't, have, wouldn't care if I got paid or not because it's just what I do. I just love being a life coach. I love having deep, powerful conversations with my clients. I love talking and helping them and guiding them to their power and for them to live very powerful, transformed lives. I love that when they have access to having deep, fulfilling relationships and, and they realize like how fulfilled they could be if they chose it to be so. And they really have the power to create the experience on life of life that they choose to, to live. You have the power. Do you know that? You're divine. You're a child of God. You are a manifestation of the multiverse. You are magnificent. So you may not know that you have access to all that, but I'm here to tell you that you do. You do absolutely have access to that. Um, and I can show you. If you don't know how to access it, then I can show you how to access it. I will guide you there. So get a life coach in your life. It might be me. It might not be me. Uh, if you feel like it is me, reach out to me and we can talk virtually or we can have lunch or dinner or lunch if you're in the local Dallas area. Um, or uh, those are some options. And then uh, we can see if we're a good fit and then we can uh, start our coaching relationship if, that, if that's your desire. And if you saw any value in this video or any other videos you watched that I've created, please share them. And then my last request is Please go to my like page, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, help me build my audience. My goal is to have millions of wonderful souls hear my message, and I can't do it without your help. It happens one share at a time, one view at a time. So, everything I have is called Soul, S-O-U-L, Elevated Life, Soul Elevated Life. There is a website, there is a YouTube channel, there's Instagram, there is Facebook, there is the Facebook like page. <laughs> There's tons of ways to access my message to you. The ways that I pour love into you through these platforms. Huh. So I send you love, light, profound clarity, and infinite possibility to create and design the life you desire to live and experience uh, that is aligned with your soul's expansion and your soul's growth. Here's you living a soul elevated life and, of course, I don't care how you get to me, just get to me. Um, yes, so here's you living a soul-elevated life, and I will see you tomorrow.